Warning, this video contains major spoilers for the FNAF movie. Watch at your own risk. Just like William Afton himself, I always come back. A little while back I made the ultimate Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria in Minecraft and I told you that was it. I'm not doing any more, I don't feel like it, and I lied to you. At the time of recording this video, uh, it's been about a day and a half since I watched the FNAF movie and I am in love. It was amazing and I loved every piece of it. I don't care how corny some pieces were, I don't care, I, I don't. It was great. And in order to celebrate it and also to appease some of the comments from some of the other builds that you guys have left because you guys have also wanted to see this uh, in actually vast quantities, I am going to be making a custom Five Nights at Freddy's movie pizzeria in Minecraft. Honestly, I think I think this is going to be a really interesting one for me to make because we don't really know the layout at all. But with the help of a Minecraft 1.20 bedrock map that was made by someone named Koft, there is a very cool FNAF movie map that is based off of the FNAF movie trailers and is a pretty rough but honestly seemingly accurate layout of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie Pizzeria. So I'm using that as a bit of a rough reference for uh, what I'm going to be making today, but I am going to be adjusting some things. I did notice that since it's based off of the trailers, there are some pieces that, like, as I was going through it, it's, yeah, no, nah, in the movie it's much different. So there are going to be some adjustments being made, but honestly, I'm super excited because this is going to be, this is going to be a different kind of thing, and it's still going to allow me to have some creative freedom with it because, you know, it's just a theory. So you guys know the drill, I'm gonna hop into a layout, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But before I get around to any of that, I do want to let you guys know that if you want to make something like this for yourself, there is a link in the description to the CurseForge mod pack called Tony's FNAF Pack. You can check it out in the description. There's also links to the other mods that I've put in here as well. Some of them are just more furniture or simple things that add a little bit more to this world. Um, so if you want to do this for yourself, go down there and go ahead and check that out as well. There's also going to be a world download for this in the description as well, right below those. So make sure if you want to check this out for yourself, go to the link there and download it for yourself and check it out. I also want to take this moment to quick ask you guys, if you haven't already, to please consider liking and subscribing. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year, so we'll see if that actually happens or not, but that would be much appreciated if you did that. Anyway, let's get back into it. Alrighty, I think this is about the best I'm going to be able to get this to be. This looks really, really weird, but let me just explain what all is going on here. Uh, first of all, this kind of looks like a bunny head. Like, you know, there's the ear there, there's the ear there, and then you can see it like it kind of curves around there. Almost looks like the, 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 the glitch trap suit dude. Freaky, huh? But yes, up at the top there is the lobby, that purple section there, and that is basically where you walk in and you see that big archway that lights up that leads into the main entertainment room which is the pink blob in the middle here and you'll see that there's those two yellow squares those are where the stages are Foxy's Cove and the main stage respectively uh, we also have the orange square which is the prize counter and then we also have that kind of diagonal like magenta piece there that goes in there as well and that's actually that kind of diagonal area with the arcade and the ball pit so that's uh, they're going to be interesting to figure out, I think. Towards the right there, we have the blue hallway, which leads to the security office. And then connecting to that is like that little extra storage room, which has the uh, different supplies for the prize corner and stuff like that. And then also in that area is the kitchen, which is the brown section at the bottom right there. And then leading out from the bottom of that is this green tunnel, which these green tunnels are actually going to be what are like connecting up all the like separate like employee only areas so right there in that big space at the bottom right is the warehouse door that you see um hank and max and her brother and everybody break in through um so those the, those will be the double doors leading into the kitchen that he kicks in etc etc blah 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 you'll see that that leads towards also the main area and then another set of tunnels which the other set of tunnels is where we see Hank run away from seeing Carl getting munched. And that's the little supply closet that he gets got by Bonnie in. And as we follow that along further, you'll see this dark blue section in the left there. And that is going to be the kind of parts and service or like workshop room. And this is where we see the extra suits and where we see uh, Chica trying to stuff Abby into the weird spring lock like off-brand circus baby or i guess people are saying it's like ella from the from the uh fnaf books 
I guess there's a doll that looks exactly like that. Freaky. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be that room. There's also going to be another warehouse door in there, I think, just to be just to be kind of logical about it, because I feel like how would they get all the parts all the way from the warehouse door at the bottom right there? It just wouldn't make sense. So then following along that tunnel again, there's actually going to be a chain link fence, quote unquote, so I can be made out of like iron bars or something, but that's going to be separating that off. And that's going to be uh, what we see at the beginning of the movie with the first security guard who gets trapped behind that and eventually gets got by Foxy. That's going to be separating that off. And then following that tunnel and that little blue square up at the top, that is going to be where technically from the vents that the first security guard emerged from and then ran away um, in that area up there. So this is a very, very, very custom layout. I don't think that this is going to be super accurate to the movie, but it's to the best of my understanding of where things are. I also forgot to mention that the green square up at the top there is the bathrooms, just because there aren't any anywhere else. So I thought I'd put them there. So now it's time for, you guessed it, building up all the different areas and getting this bad boy started. So I think I'm just gonna hop into it, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys in a second. Here we are with a fully walled and roofed interior of the building. Now, obviously, some things are a little bit different from the movie themselves, uh, like this little alcove here. I think it's a bit bigger than what we saw in the movie, but you know, that, that's a minor detail. But you know, this this whole area here, I feel like it's pretty accurate to what the movie is. Obviously, I need to get the uh, tables and stuff set up in here, but that's going to be part of the next phase of creation. Um, but we have the stage set up, and I already went ahead and put in the animatronics just to make sure that uh, the stages were tall enough, and they are. And honestly, they look really good, like with this little border across the top. It feels like it's a complete and like centered attraction to the actual place, so that's really cool. I guess I have the ball pit area and the arcade. I uh, don't know what I'm going to use for the actual ball pit just yet, but we'll, I'll, I'll figure it out, honestly. You may also notice that I've used some vertical slabs. That's part of one of the mods that is in the uh, mod pack here. It is called Quartz and it features a bunch of vertical slabs that you can use for extra detailing in your builds and honestly I don't I don't know why vertical slabs aren't just a regular vanilla thing because these are so useful like look at this I wouldn't have this barrier to the curtains here if this didn't if, if these didn't exist like I, I don't understand why they're not already a thing but you know that's Mojang. You notice also in these uh, maintenance or service tunnels that there are these hanging lamps that kind of flicker on and off. And there is this quote unquote chain link fence um, where the first security guard kind of gets got. So I thought, I thought that was a nice detail to have there. And then there's also the storage room here, which I'm also making the same storage room as where um, in the beginning where he comes out of the vent. And then also from later on where they discover the first spring lock like doll suit. Which, that thing was creepy. Did anybody else think that? That thing was, like, eerily creepy compared to everything else. We also have the setups for the bathrooms here. And honestly, the, uh, the vertical slabs make these a lot more interesting to walk through. You know, it's like an actual, like, sectioned off piece of the area. So that's really cool. We also have the prize counter, which is also featuring the vertical slabs as the actual counter itself. A little storage area for all this stuff back there. And then, of course, there's the security room, which I went ahead and also put in the breaker box, which I feel like is kind of clever. Obviously, I wish it was a red light coming out of that, but, you know, it is what it is. And then, of course, the other exit as well. And the kitchen is all set up in here with its lighting. And I think the lighting in here is perfect, if I'm gonna be completely honest. There is so much happening in terms of the actual decoration of the place, or at least there will be. So having the lack of lighting, I feel like will add to that kind of mystery of the place. And it doesn't feel like it's too harsh at all. Like, especially in these hallways, they feel eerie and on, on and And of course there's also the parts and service area, which I don't like that the, the doors don't block out the light. I wish they would, because that actually, that that's kind of frustrating. But I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and start decorating some of this place up. So, 
Here we go. And here we are with the main party room all decorated and set up. Now, I'm honestly really happy with how this has turned out. And obviously, this isn't as decorated nearly as much as the other locations that I've done. But that's because I want this to feel like it's abandoned. There's not really much going on here. And uh, I think it has been pulled off pretty well. So we've got a range of different things like tables, booths, party supplies, plates, cups, all that kind of stuff on these tables. And it looks pretty much like it's been kind of just left behind which is exactly what i was going for so that's really awesome but we also got different signs and decorations and hang things hanging from the ceiling and of course the drawing wall we have the funny yellow bunny featured in the middle of all of the other drawings here and i think this is a really nice detail that i used here because this is one of the old fredbear posters and uh you know it's just a nice reference to the actual film so that's pretty cool i also have little machines here that are for your tokens for playing the arcade machines and then also the ticket counter as well over by the prize counter which uh this is actually pretty accurate to the movie because there's this big like vent shaft that goes across uh the top here so definitely something that i'm really happy with as well because there's these little vent blocks and stuff that they have in this mod so that's really cool and as per usual we also have all of the different plushies and stuff at the prize counter nothing super new here because you know it's it's about the same as everything else we've done so you know i'm pretty happy with it though and the vertical slabs definitely help with like framing it so that's really cool i went ahead and also did the bathrooms as well and there's nothing really super special going on in here uh, you know just your usual bathroom stalls and then also your kitchen sink and all that stuff as well as the trash can which actually i didn't realize that you can actually throw stuff in there and destroy it that's pretty cool we also have little gumball machines which are nice because you know gum it's good and then of course the arcade area as well i did not put in the uh ladder to the slide because it just didn't seem like there was enough room so i didn't include that but if you want to add it when you download this world, because I know that you're going to want to download it, ooh, you can definitely add that as well for yourself. But I do have all these arcade machines here as well as the ball pit. And now this is actually a really fun uh, block here because if you... Uh... <laughs> it makes little squink squonks, which is fun. But also, you actually like sink into it so you can actually hide inside blocks which is really cool so we also have the kitchen as well which is complete with a bunch of stoves and ovens for cooking up all of the different things at the pizzeria as well as a lot of pizza boxes which are kind of just scattered around everywhere and this is kind of nodding towards in the movie how you see pretty much like all over the kitchen there's just stacks of these boxes and this is actually the area with the fan where you uh see behind carl you see chica go past the fan there throughout that hallway uh which you can actually come through here and see that the fan is there as well unfortunately you can't look through it and it's also four separate blocks instead of being one big one but that's just that's what was in the mod so it is what it is i guess we also have here these couple fridges which are where carl is looking for the cupcake or i guess he's looking for whatever's inside it and then he turns around and sees there's chica and there's the cupcake and then he doesn't have a face anymore yeah this is the kitchen and honestly i'm really happy with it especially with these vents that let all of the smoke and stuff out toward the roof this is, it's just a very nicely detailed kitchen with honestly minimal detail that still fits so next up we have the security office and honestly this is probably one of my favorites so far just because of how much is going on in such a small space so as you can see we have the iconic classic uh, desk and chair we got the phone there as well as the poster on the wall we also have his nebraska poster as well on the wall which is just a regular minecraft painting but it still gives off that same vibe we also have behind here this little table that we see uh vanessa and mike sit at when they first meet and also we have the lockers which unfortunately we can't necessarily open them physically but there is a bit of a surprise if i open up the bottom section here i go inside the bottom here you'll see that there's a little balloon boy inside here which is kind of just alluding to the uh little balloon boy jump scares that we would see in the movie there's also this bonnie plush as well as if you uh take a quick look at the lockers in the office you'll see that there's a tiny little bonnie plushie up top we also have here the power generator which is Unfortunately not hooked up to anything at the moment, but there's also the red security light as well up the top Kind of just like it's always on as that like even if the power is out this this is always gonna be on So it's a nice little nice little detail We also have the hallway leading up to the office as well as the back exit here with the employee of the month wall Which you'll notice there might be a couple familiar heads on here as well, which uh, you know just, just saying I'm a I'm a pretty good employee, but also just a bunch of wires and stuff hanging from the ceiling as well as a little vending machine here Because I feel like you know, this is this is kind of the back area the kind of break 
not necessarily break room, but you know, it's 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 towards an area where employees can kind of chill out and get their stuff. So I feel like an I feel like a vending machine isn't super far out of reach back here. So after the security office, I decided to do the storage rooms on the sides of the hallways and such. So this is the one where Vanessa and Mike were looking for the tablecloths, and then where eventually. Uh, they learned about the spring, tr the spring lock suits, and um, instead of having the weird doll thing, this is where this guy is, and this is because I feel like this is, I believe this is the same room at the end of the movie where they have dragged Mr. Afton to rot in his spring locked cell. Um, I'm pretty sure it was the storage room. I could be wrong, but. That's what it looked like in the movie, so that's where I assumed that he is now. If I'm wrong, don't tell me in the comments, because I don't like knowing when I'm wrong. But yeah, this is mainly just a bunch of cardboard boxes and stuff strewn about everywhere, some extra chairs and tables and stuff like that, because, you know, it never hurts to have extras in your restaurant. Similarly, there's also this kind of corner storage room as well, and this is where Hank gets just absolutely destroyed by Bonnie. And, um, yeah, nothing too fancy going on here. Once again, it's just a very simple room filled with shelves and cardboard boxes and stuff, and then plenty of room for Bonnie to stand in the corner and be an absolute creep. Finally, we have the parts and service area where we also have the torture Freddy mask and the chair where both the old security guard and then also Mike get stuck. And, uh, only one of them survives. Can you guess who? But yes, we also have a couple of the withers in here as well, and this is to represent the, uh, extra suits that the, uh, the looters were stuffed in after they were killed in the restaurant. Um, so obviously, you know, we don't have Sparky the dog or Shadow Freddy or whatever the heck they actually are. Someone said that the one that Max was stuffed in was Mr. Hippo, and I'm just like, I hope that's true, because <laughs> I love Mr. Hippo, he's great. But yeah, you know, it's your typical kind of parts and service, there's a bunch of tools and workbenches and stuff like that, and a bunch of random things laying around, and extra endoskeletons and parts and such like that. But I think this is pretty good for what it's worth, and also I think just having this centerpiece of the Freddy head is just really cool. Obviously, it's not attached, but you know. We're not going to talk about that part. Side note, I did also replace the spring trap with an actual spring bonnie because I didn't realize that this is a thing, but it's really cool that it is. Look at you looking at me. Big old eyes. So yeah, I replaced that with that because it's not exactly spring trap that gets stuck in here. It's spring bonnie. So this is the, the yeah, this is way better. And finally, I wanted to leave this part for the very last because I just find it very funny. But this little area, there's, you know, not really much known of what actually is over here. So I've decided to make this a spot for Balloon Boy because he has such an annoying presence in this movie and he's kind of just the, the lingering joke throughout it. I figured I'd give him his own little spot in this little area here. So I think that's perfect right there. <laughs> and with that, I'm pretty sure the interior to this place is completely finished. Now, obviously, nothing is like 100% accurate to the movie, as there are definitely things that can be adjusted, but honestly, I'm super happy with how this has turned out. This has been an amazing project, and I think all that I have left to do now is make a facade for the front, because right now it's just a weird random shape of a building, so I'm gonna make a little facade and make it look all pretty from the front, and uh, not do a full building, because I don't, I don't wanna. So let's go ahead and go out and do that, and give me just a moment and we'll see how it looks. And so here we are with the outside of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Now I did make a bit of an extension off the side here from what we actually see in the movie because about this chunk here, right here, that's about where it cuts off. It's just this much that we see. So I had to extend it a little bit in order to cover up the extra like service tunnel and stuff like that. But I think, I think it looks good. But yeah, this was honestly very fun to put together. I had a blast making this, and it was nice to kind of hop back into it after a little while of, of not doing anything like this. Now, this this is going to be my last one. I swear to God, like, I'm not making any more of these. I'm, I'm done. These are done. <laughs> but seeing this come to fruition was really cool, and especially after just seeing the movie, like, this, this is really cool. And being able to have this now in Minecraft is such a really cool thing to see. 
Now, I did go around and add a few more details as well, like I added some of the extra wall sconces, and I also reduced the size of the archway. It used to be four wide, now it's three, in order to center the entrance and make room for the sign outside to actually be centered. So, made a bit of an adjustment, but you know, that's the beauty of these kinds of things, is you can just adjust them as you go along. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and like I said, thank you so much for being part of this series. Like, you guys... Have been really fun to see like your guys' reactions to the different builds that I've done and all that. Um, unfortunately, I you know I made the joke about how I always come back, but like this this is it. I'm not this. I'm done with these. <laughs> I'm moving on to bigger and better things, baby. But if you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like. And if you really enjoyed, consider subscribing. And if you haven't watched the other videos in this series, there's a link in the description to the playlist that has all of them in there. So go check those out as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys all stay safe. I love you all. And until the next video, I will see you later. Bye.